I gotta clap because us men, we've come far. Just a few years ago, we were looking sloppy. Everything's all over the place. We're wearing boot cut jeans, oversized dress shirts, things that just didn't fit properly, just looking like a hot mess. But even though most people are dressing better, looking better, there's still a few things that I still see that I just wish I didn't have to see. So in this video, I wanna show you guys eight things that I've seen that as small as they are, they could ruin your outfit. Number one, wearing thinner clothes on top of thicker clothes. The layering is a great thing. If you do it right, then it shows that you know how to compose nice complex outfits and you know all the rules of style and color. But when you do it wrong, then you're better off just not layering at all. Having the thinner layers on top of the thicker layers, it's gonna make you look a lot fluffier than what you really are. It's gonna add visual pounds and no one really wants that. The simple way to put it is, would you wear a jacket under your sweater? And if you do, then that's kind of weird. But people don't do that, yet they still wear their flannels under their suits, even though the flannel's thicker than the suit jacket. Or they still wear a sweater as an undershirt for their button up. And the same rules apply. Number two, wearing white socks with dress shoes. And not only will it look bad visually because all that contrast between your dark dress shoes and your white socks, it's just gonna pull all your attention towards there and it also won't look good because most people know that white socks, they're only athletic socks. And when it comes to that outfit, even though no one really says it, people know that you have to match the formality of your outfit no matter what piece of the outfit it is. Not only does it feel a lot better wear dress socks with dress shoes, it's gonna look a lot better too. Number three, wearing clothing with stains or holes in it. And this may sound obvious, but there's still so many people that they have their favorite shirt or their favorite pants, and it has that tiny little hole in it, and they think that they could get away with it. I'm just gonna keep this one short. It's not that we don't see it, it's just we don't say anything. Number four, wearing that beat up belt. And this one's not as common as it used to be, because I noticed that a lot of people, they like to buy designer belts if that's the only designer thing they have. But you have to make sure that the belt that you're wearing that it's in pristine condition. Your belt is right in the middle of your silhouette. It's something that everybody's gonna see, especially when you tuck in your clothing. And nothing's worse than having that beat up belt that looks like you slapped it against the wall for 20 years. But I'm not saying to go out and buy an expensive belt. I'm also saying that you can't keep wearing that belt that you bought that one day because you forgot your belt. Or you can't keep wearing that belt that's clearly in the wrong size because all the wear and tear from your belt is mainly because people are getting their belts in the wrong size and they're making makeshift holes or they're tightening it too much and that's what's causing the stress and that's what's causing your belt to look worn out a lot faster. Number five, ruining the visual flow of your outfit. What I'm talking about is when people, they wear their dress clothes and the fits, they just don't match. They get a loosely fitted shirt and slim pants and they look disproportionate. They look like an upside down triangle. It looks like they have no legs. And it's okay to get those loosely fitted clothing. Sometimes it's better for your body type, more comfortable, whatever it may be. Just make sure that the fit on your top matches the fit on your bottom. Number six, not caring about your shoes. And this might sound a little funny because I know a lot of people like to spend all their money on shoes. But this is talking about those people who they never dress up. They only have that one formal outfit and it's not even that formal. It's just a white button up with a pair of chinos. They know they don't want to and they end up wearing either a pair of boat shoes or those really old dress shoes that are just in the back of their closet that are probably square toed. I say you have to update your dress shoes just as much as you update your sneakers. I know not everybody's gonna get as much wear out of it, but those times where you have to wear those dress shoes, they're a thousand times more important than every event that you end up wearing those sneakers for. Number seven, not matching the formality throughout your outfit. And this applies to the people who, they think it's okay to wear the whole suit and then out of nowhere, just a pair of sneakers. If you match the formality throughout your whole outfit, it's gonna look a lot more cohesive. If you wanna look good forever, if you wanna look timeless, match the formality throughout your whole outfit. And if you really wanna wear those sneakers with that suit, then you can introduce the informality in another part of your outfit by wearing a t-shirt along with the sneakers with your suit. Number eight, and this is a little one, but a lot of people, they still miss it. And that's having really contrasting stitching on their clothing. I still see people who, they have that white button up shirt. And for some reason, all the stitching all around it throughout the collar, throughout the whole shirt is red or blue or black. And it just stands out. It doesn't look streamlined. It, 
kind of looks a little sloppy. And I bet for the same price, you could get a shirt that has matching stitching throughout, and it's just one streamlined looking shirt. It's also gonna make it a lot easier to build an outfit with that shirt or with those pants, when you don't have to worry about matching the threading on your pants or on your shirt. But those are the eight little mistakes that I still see guys making their outfits that sometimes ruin them. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like the video. And also be sure to subscribe as well. And also follow me on Instagram because I'm posting a lot of content on there that you won't see on this channel. But I'll see you guys next time.